To present our next HERO Award, please welcome the Deputy Director, Office of Diversity Management and Equal Opportunity, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, Personnel and Readiness for the Department of Defense, Mr. Michael Sina. Good evening. It is my distinct pleasure to present the next STEM Hero Award to Mr. Luis A. Cruz. Mr. Cruz, Ground Test Lead, Integrated Master Test Plan Division Directorate for Test Planning and Design at the Missile Defense Agency. In this capacity, he oversees strategic ground testing planning for the Ballistic Missile Defense System. With just nine years of experience, he is already directly responsible for the planning, budgeting, and scheduling of, for the, uh, of system level ground testing documented in the integrated master test plan, which is one of the agency's most important annual submission to the US Congress. Following college in 2006, he worked for the U.S. Army as a civilian assigned to the McAllister Army Ammunition Plant in McAllister, Oklahoma, where he studied ordnance and ammunition. While working with the Army, he was reassigned to the Redstone Arsenal, Alabama, as an ammunition surveillance specialist. In his time with the Missile Defense Agency, he has managed or executed 16 flight tests, six war games, and exercises and other ground tests. Most notably, during his time in the Flight Test Execution Division, Luis conducted four flight tests with the governments of Israel and Australia. He has also served as the Sensors Direct Director for Airborne Infrared Systems during Flight Test Terminal High Altitude Area Defense 12, Flight Test Other 17, and the Overhead Sensors Test Flight for Flight Test Laser 1 and for Flight Test Laser 2. Wow. Please join me in the warm recognition for Mr. Cruz. Thank you, everybody. Uh, if I could take a quick second and, and uh, address the photo of me. It, if you noticed, my tie was a little loose. It, to my credit, I actually uh, resubmitted another photo with my tie correctly done, but it, it just did not get here on time. Thank you for putting that up again, by the way. <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten this award without the support and example of my family. Their examples have given me pride in my Puerto Rican heritage and the determination to succeed in engineering or whatever I set out to accomplish. Our country is a better place through diversity, especially in the engineering field. In my line of work at the Missile Defense Agency, I've learned that the most difficult tasks, such as hitting it, the bullet with a bullet in space, can only be accomplished through a diverse workforce. If you look at history's greatest feats, the one commonality is that their people come from different backgrounds. Building America's missile shield is no different, arguably one of the most difficult undertaking the United States has embarked on since uh, sending a man to the moon. Thank you again to the great minds in STEM organization for this great honor. 